Welcome back, everyone, to iCup StarCraft TV. I'll be your host, Ann Caster. iCup Fitz right here. And this replay comes to us from iCup Face from, I, from February 26, 2013. And this tour is called the iCup 2x2 Late Game Show Tour. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty long name. I don't know what he was thinking at the time. But regardless, that's what he decided to call it. So that's what we're going to call it on iCup StarCraft TV. And without further ado, it's going to be game number two. And let's introduce our teams right here in the bottom left-hand corner. It'll be the Orange Zerg, our uh, Red Eats bonus as team captain, as I've randomly assigned him as captain. Not that it has any real meaning other than that is team bonus that we call it. And he bonuses in the little overlay thing in the bottom right-hand corner as team captain. And his ally will be Bonnie as the protest. Staying with the team, same team composition, but like most losers, they do resort to the Zerg Zerg, and that's exactly what Team Oxerg has opted to go for in this. And Oxerg, Oxerg is ally in the top left hand corner as the purple Zerg, it'll be Sithis. And in the bottom right hand corner as the white Zerg, it'll be Oxerg himself. Uh, now the map will be like Colosseum. I, I believe that's how you say it, but I could be very wrong, so don't make fun of me. There is a reverse ramp, so, uh, you know, it, it can prove. It, it can change up the dynamics. I have to assume. That, that ramps do change up the dynamics of, of 2v2 to, to such a degree. And I'm sorry, th this actually is a flat map. To be see, see, I, I misinterpreted this map. So, right, you can actually sunken push on this map. Uh, with this, you can actually put a sunken, uh, a, cre a creep, creep colony and then do it that way. So, Zerks can actually have a little bit different time on this map. But, but you know, there are tours that we have no ramp tours, so I'm assuming that this kind of changed it up a bit. Uh, not that really range units really matter in 2v2 in the super early game because, I mean, it's mainly Ling Zillin. Maybe you might go Murray. Maybe. But, I mean, that takes out... I mean, I mean Protoss and Zerg get their units out much quicker on the map than Terran does so they, before they can do actually do anything. And of course, you know, a Marine will come out before a Zealot does if they go for, you know, barracks quickly, but the Marine can't really do anything to that Zealot. So, yeah. Uh, so we, the Zerg, uh, Purple Zerg has stopped mining gas for this time, going to be getting up his links. Protoss has opted to throw down the two gateways that we've seen so far, getting, probably going to throw down the third gateway sooner or later. Now we do have a, what seems to be a 12 hatch coming out of, out of Oxerg, and this is that, getting that extra gas may mean a lot for this team, if they can get away with that effect. Now the fact of the matter though is that Team Bonus has been consistently finalist of 2x2, like, I mean, Oxerg, I mean, I don't know what the frequency of these players are, but, I mean, the fact of the matter that Team Bonus has gotten, you know, three, four abilities to get to the finals, I'm getting a little worried for Oxerg for being able to be this greedy right here. I mean, it seems like a little odd right here, but he's just going to lose so many drones right here from this, from the link coming out of um, Bonus right now. Red 8 just doing critical damage right here. I mean, even Red 8 has his Zealot already in position to deal with this, getting those things right there. Now, Purple starting to get, starting to weaken down that Zealot right now. Um, because Oxer, Oxer's ally has come right here, and was just trying to sunk and push that, but ultimately did get deflected away. It's kind of hard to tell what exactly what goes on the 2v2, but it just keeps mind. Purple and white are team Oxer, and green and orange are team bonus, and it looks like team Oxer will push away the zealot from, uh, from team bonus for the time being. So a nice defense coming out of uh, team, team Oxer, but the problem is, I mean, he lost so many drones, and he canceled off his hatchery. So, really, Oxer kind of having the same issue he had in game one, where he just kind of got killed off. Uh, and did, did we have a Ling run by here that I just didn't see? Because this seems like a, a really small amount of drones, but who knows? Um, a lot of shit happens in TP2, but uh, anyway. So it looks like blue, it looks like purple. Gonna be trying to come in here, trying to attack. Bonnieth right here, and it looks like Purple will get in here. Bonnieth gonna be in a bit of trouble. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Wait, are these on the same team? Did I mess up this team? Did, did, I, did, I, did I mess up this? Hold on. Red 8. Red 8. Purple. Oh, oh okay. So I just messed this up. Okay, no, no. The overlay trait. No, okay, pur Purple is Team Boxer. <laughs> team Boxer. I'm sorry. So actually, no, this is the enemy. This is the enemy of, of, of Green. You don't, you don't want... Green doesn't want purple links in his tweets. No, he doesn't. Nope, nope, not at all. So, you know, 
going to be deflecting this off uh, with, um, you know, bonuses linked right here. But it looks like Ox are going to be sending down a, a dozen links coming in this base right here. There is a, uh, there already is a sunken right here. But that's a lot of links coming in here. What will the damage be done right here? Will the drones have to be pulled? They will have to be pulled. We'll see if the drill is going to be good. Will the defense be nice and awesome? But there are two sunks right here. So I don't think really bonus is going to lose too, too much right here. And the drone, drone drilling is very, very nice. I don't think he's lost a single drone right now. And he's just bought enough time for his allies drones to get back in here and a nice defense from bonus coming in right here uh, so it looks like we, uh, oh but I take I was gonna say the action to stop for a minute but that is no case at all that is not true as we do have Bonnie it's coming back in here to Oxford to help to defend um, but here come more lings coming out of bonus right here is the pressure still getting to go on no it looks like your bonus did take some significant significant casualties from his uh, drone count but uh, the problem still lies is with these five belts right here um, coming out of uh, red eight right now I'm sorry uh, yeah this is actually that for Oxford right now did I say that this is a his ally uh, you have to understand that this is this casting 2v2 you may be like, oh, this guy's such a retard, but actually the fact of the matter is try to try to try to try to say stuff really, really fast and these colors that you haven't you're not used to them and it gets really confusing. Now, apparently we have Oxford's ally coming in here, two purples uh, base right now. He could lose a lot of probes right here. This is a lot of lings right here. Can he do the uh, the drilling right? But he's losing so many probes in the process. I believe I counted the five just dying right there. Super unfortunate, but it looks like Bonus is in here to help to defend his, his ally right here. He even has a shield battery. You rarely see these ever ever come into play. So nicely done. And it looks like Oxer just got killed off, actually. So we'll see. So I'm assuming it's only a matter of time till Purple leaves as well. But Purple gonna try to stay in here, trying to get trying to get, trying to get the win. You know, better safe than sorry. I mean, be, better play this game out and actually yeah, better safe than sorry. Yeah, it's, it's safer to stay in the game and try than just rage quit like I do those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't I don't see a way these elves are gonna be able to die from just pure lane. It's not gonna happen. Here comes the kill. Here comes the elves marching down this hallway, just trying to do the damage that they need to do. There is a sunk in a very nice position. Two more creep bonies are gonna be thrown down right here. Will the elves die from these sunks right here? I don't think so. A sunk a sunk just does just finish up right here. Again, pretty nice positioning right here. That egg that group to be a nice little wall up right here. Uh, the Zelda can may have to retreat right here as they're not really doing a whole lot right here. They're just kind of moving around, trying to tanking shots, doing, doing nothing to tank really. I mean, they don't need to tank damage. They need to dish damage. They need to attack the Funkins is what they need to do. What they're just kind of chilling there doing nothing. Oh. Uh, not too much, you know, really remaining. <laughs> he sells three cells right there. And GGG coming out of Sithis from reps, giving the final win to Team Bonus. Congratulations, you guys. You guys are pretty consistent. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, the finals are, you know, this is what 2v2 is. This is what high level 2v2 comes to be. All right, guys. Thanks for watching iCup StarCraft TV. Next coming up is going to be the CB 1v1 tour uh, presented by iCup Predator. Going to be good stuff, guys. Don't go anywhere. iCup StarCraft TV going to be bringing you some more Brood War action. Peace.